I have to do a voice. I have to do a voiceover for everything because the contracts are here and they're making a bunch of noise. Okay, so basically you're gonna start off from light to dark, going downward at an angle. So finally, you add some purple to add some different type of volume in in there. Add your metallic towards the bottom. And then with the side of your finger going the other way diagonally, just wipe your fingers as if you are going to make water. This is a different way to make a planet. So, I'm going to shadow that side. And uh, I'm going to put some light on this side. This is another crowd pleaser, and then after this is another crowd pleaser that you can possibly do. So, adding metallic to blend into the colors. I'm gonna dry it a bit. Okay, add your plate. Well, add a little bit more light. Alright, then add your plate. Okay, grab two colors, metallic blue and black, and just spray all over. I think I even decorate my planet. Add some stars. No, oh, no, I don't. Okay, so we're going to make the water. So blue all the way down, black all the way down. Add a different color blue. Grab your poster board and it just goes side to side. So some parts are a little dry. So I'll grab my crystal clear. Try to fix it up a bit. So I go over the whole thing. And some more crystal clear because it dried by the time I got to the bottom. So add the reflection of the moon, go straight down, then with my fingers, you can keep it if you like it, but I like to just kind of just make give it a wavy effect. Okay, next we're going to lift, lift up our moon, and that's the way it looks. So then we're going to add like a little island. So just add some texture. That's good enough. Fix it up a bit with your fingers. Okay, then with your palette knife, you're gonna make a tree. Like, uh, like, in this planet. So you wanna make it look like it's like, the moon is behind it, so just make some branches. You're gonna add in some leaves with uh, your fan brush. So that's how it's looking right now. So just some medium blue. Okay, and some turquoise or some teal. Add that on. It's a little bit of a lighter color. Then we're gonna add white. Just to brighten things up a bit. So white on the top of the of the leaves.
adding in some birds. There's a black one there, a white one there, another white one, and another black one. I decided I'm going to add a starburst again. I like it because it, it takes up a lot of space and it looks like something's actually there, but it's really easy to make. So add in your starburst. Covering as much space as possible. I like to get real close and spray and then back off to make it a little bit bigger. Then we're going to add some land down here. Some purple, then finally to make it brighter, some white. And a little bit more land. And then just, just a soft touch with your fingers, just a soft touch. Doesn't have to be much. Then we're gonna draw our little guy looking off into this land. So it draws little legs. A shadow, a shadow. His little arms. Him pointing there. His spear. Give that spear a shadow too. And then finally his head. Fix up your little person, fix up his arm, and then draw in a few boats, just quick boats. Like they're sort of like an apple shape. And then just take your palette knife and detail the rest. So you're gonna detail your boats. And then detail your little person. Detail the spear, detail his hair, detail his arms, just, just the parts that will get the reflection. Then you sign it, and then this one's done. You can even add a comment if you want. I should have added a little bit more diagonal. But that's alright. So this is how it looks like. Okay, next is going to be a very quick one. Not the best one, but it's a rose. Okay, so first what you want to do is that you want to spray down some... You want to try to find like your darkest green. I decided to do this one in green. You don't have to follow these colors, but just try to do your best. So here's some green. then you want to make sure you dry that so it shows underneath so dry it so I'm gonna add some light green as like a light source I'm trying to do my best here some black over where you're gonna spray your rose where you're gonna make your rose and then so everything black light source is obviously coming from the side spray a little bit of metallic some metallic here try to blend that in as best you can some dark green over that some more green I'm trying to fix this up. In the end, it didn't look that great, so I added a few stars, and then I decided like the best thing was to do is just fill it in with white. I left a little bit of green, but that's about it. So, 
Next, what you have to do is you spray your crystal clear with your this chisel. Just try to make the shape of a rose. Okay, like my flowers are not the best, but if you learn how to do this, it can be it can look very nice. So here's me trying to make a rose. Try my best. Make sure to get like the layers that a rose actually comes in. So I try to do the middle there. I'm trying to make the leaves branch out and go over. Okay, then I guess I decided it was like a decent rose. It was alright. Then I try to make a stem. That didn't work out. So I um I was gonna draw on the stem with some paint. And do so. So I draw on some leaves. I do like a, a curve on the top, curve on the bottom. You can add some thorns if you want, but you really don't have to. Then you're just going to add some shine on your rose. Just as much as you can. Add some more stars, and then I'm gonna sign this. Keto 2015, and then this is what it looks like. Okay, so just a nice simple rose. Doesn't look the best, but you can make it look better. Just this is just a start. Okay, and this is what they look like side by side. So I hope you like this, and like, comment, and subscribe.